Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you an overview and showing you the tutorial for the Ficus T on the Go app, as well as the Ficus Dashboard app that allows you to interact with your uh, NAS device from your iOS or Android mobile device. So let's take a closer look at the app and I'll tell you all about the features. <music> So here's what I want to show you. I want to show you these two apps, the T Dashboard app and the T on the Go app. The T Dashboard app allows you to do some administrative functions on the NAS device remotely and the T on the Go app allows you to view your files as well as has a photo sync feature so you can do a photo sync from your mobile device directly to your NAS. So here's what we're going to do. First I'm going to go into the T Dashboard app. And we've got two things here. We've got a detect NAS with a local scan that should scan your network and automatically find it. I've already added it here, but if we go into add here, all you would do is type in the IP address that you get from the install application and it'll add it here. Then you tap the IP address of the NAS device and put in your admin password. You also have a checkbox here to remember the password as well as a button for resetting it. So I'm just going to put my admin put in my admin password and click login. Once you've logged in, you've got several features that you can do. You can change the user's password. You can bind the device to the NAS. In this case it's an Android device, so it's going to say bind Android. If this was iOS, it would say bind iOS to NAS. And you have service server service status monitoring. This is the main thing here in the T dashboard app so it gives you the product information, the uptime, CPU load, firmware version, and you also can turn on and off certain network services such as the Apple file protocol, the network file service, SMB, FTP, UPnP, iTunes server, and the syslog server. So very simple app just for managing the NAS a little bit here. Then we also have the T on the Go app. So if we open that one up, we've got local storage which is actually the local storage on the device. I have added the NAS in two different ways. So you've got settings as well to enable photo sync, sync over a cellular network, you can turn that off if you have uh, don't have an unlimited data plan and are worried about going over your um, minutes. You also have the sync device, so you can choose which um, device you want to sync to. And the folder, the sync local folder, is the folder that you actually want it to sync. Under this button here, you can add the device, whether it be local, Ficus WebDAV, that's going to be your NAS, and you also have the option to add your Dropbox to this app, so you can see that as well. So I've added mine in two ways, using the Ficus WebDAV, name, URL, URL is always going to be have HTTP colon slash slash, or HTTPS colon slash slash. The link or IP address to your device as well as a colon in the port number. Port number you can look up or set up in the control panel of the device to be a custom one or use the defaults. You also have the username and password. Username and password is of course what you're going to log in as. If you're using the admin account and it's set to default it'll be admin admin. If you're using another account for access you would put that information in. So what you see here is I have local one that I named local2 and it is https colon slash slash 192.168.0.52 colon 9802 9802 is the default port for the secure access 
which is why I have the HTTPS in front, not the HTTP. So this will work when I'm on my local network, and I have set my photo sync to sync to that device. So when I'm home, it'll automatically sync my photos to my device. I also have set up using the DDNS link, HTTPS colon slash slash, my DDNS link colon 9802. So when I'm not at home and not on my home network, I can still have access to my NAS files and take a look at them. So let's take a look at that. So here we have our folders and we'll go into NAS public, camera upload, camera. As you can see, there's a bunch of photos in here. These are the photos that have synced from my phone to the NAS device automatically. You have the option to create folders, also file progress. You have the option to filter down to photos, audio, or video. You can upload from your camera, your album, or your local device. You can make a cut or paste or download selection of files or delete them. You can also resize, the change the view, change it to icon view in here. So it's a nice app for quickly looking at your files if you're on the go or even if you're home and you're not in front of a computer you can use your iOS or Android device to take a look at it. Ficus in this case has made this nice and simple for us and one thing to mention is that if you do want to use this outside of your network you will have to put a port forward in your router or in my case I actually put my NAS in what's called the DMZ so that I could access all the services for testing purposes. I don't recommend that just because that puts it outside your firewall completely and if a hacker wanted to try to get into it for some reason there'd be nothing stopping them run, trying to access other services in some way on it. I hope you enjoyed this overview of the T dashboard and the T on the go app from Thekus and definitely don't forget to check out our full review at www.hitechlegion.com check out our other video with our software and control panel overview as well as the overview and benchmarks for the device itself also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube Facebook and Twitter pages take care